Queens. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Zero. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. This is going to be your December 2021 general reading, and I have a few quick announcements I want to go over with you. Some really great stuff, just real quick before we get into the reading. All right, if you don't care about any announcements, feel free to scroll on to the rest of the video. But for those of you who do, let me let you know that. Um, most of you know, I do have a second channel, Lucky Seven Sages, right? And um, I'm trying to build that channel up. And so this month, as a thank you to all of you, and hopefully an incentive to subscribe to that channel, um, I will be doing the extended version of this reading. And I'm going to make it available to all of you. So if this reading resonates with you, the extended version of this reading will be available on that channel. And I will put the link in the description box below. I hope that you will consider subscribing, like the video, share it with your friends, that kind of thing. All right. Also, there is a huge sale going on on my website for the holidays um, through the month of December for personal readings for cardiology reports, for my jewelry line that I have. Um, tarot decks are on sale. So go ahead and check that out if you are interested as well. That link will also be in the description box below. With that said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already familiar with my channel, um, welcome back. All right. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. Hi, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get into your December 2021 general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Remember, these messages can resonate for you anywhere where you have Pisces in your natal chart. If they don't resonate, check your Moon and Rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading with me. My website is lucky 7 Everything is Almost everything is on sale this month on my website. I have my jewelry on sale. Um, I have tarot decks, oracle decks uh, on sale, personal readings, cardiology readings, and cardiology reports on sale until the end of December. All right. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. We're going to jump right into this. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. Um, let's get into this. I'm doing a past, present, future spread for you guys. And I will clarify the cards and get some extra messages and pull some advice for you. I'll show you the cards as I go along. Okay. What messages, spirit, do you have for Pisces for December? My Pisces subscribers out there, please hit the like video, uh, the like button on the video. It does help to support the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. Thank you guys so much. All right. Pisces, what is coming up? Okay. Well, nothing flipped over. What's coming up? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. See, guys, I didn't even do anything. And I don't know that I even asked her for anything. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Pisces. What's coming up for Pisces? Okay. Let me see what the challenge is for you, Pisces, and what you don't see coming. What's the challenge for Pisces? Okay, Pisces, your challenge is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be a fire sign, Aries Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Um, this could also be your challenge being that um, there's some sort of action that you're not taking. All right, something here that you're not doing this month. Okay, now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? So what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck really 
has a lot to do with some sort of significant change from the past. Okay. I feel like a lot of you, um, you've been thinking a lot about a past situation in your life and creating some sort of significant change here. Maybe something that you did in the past or a relationship from the past. I feel like there is a lack of stability. Some of you are feeling unstable. Um, but I also get that there's going to be something here to be celebrated, okay? Um, overcoming some sort of instability in your life, all right? So that's what you don't see coming. Now, in the recent past, you have the Ace of Swords, you've got the Knight of Cups, and the Magician, okay? Um, the magician is in reverse. In the recent past, I do feel like um, there could have been an offer of love that may have come in for some of you um, or an opportunity that could have come in. The issue here is I feel like um, there's some sort of manipulation when it comes to the opportunity. I feel like maybe you got the truth about this or you had an aha moment about this opportunity because it's a knight of cups, right? So the knight of cups is still very shaky energy. It's very in and out energy. Like it's not a hundred percent certain. Okay. So whatever this was, this love offer, I feel like it came attached to something. And I, I really see you, for some of you, maybe you cleared the air with someone in the recent past that was um, somebody that you didn't trust, okay? But we'll see in a moment when I clarify, okay? In the present moment, you do have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, the Will of Fortune in the reverse, the Two of Cups in the reverse. Some of you... This is regarding a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I feel like there's a relationship that's significant to you, whether this is a love relationship, family relationship, friendship, what have you. But I feel like it doesn't feel successful, okay? For some of you, it's very unstable. For some of you, this is a breakup because of some sort of instability. Um, and for others, there could be a partnership Maybe a business partnership that's gone sour in some way where you just don't feel stable or comfortable with it, okay? Now, in the near future, you do have the devil. You have the moon in reverse, and you've got the queen of pentacles in reverse. Lots of earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like as much as I would like to, you know, be reading for love and some, and maybe it is uh, regarding your love life um, for a lot of you. A lot of you, this is regarding your money, your career, your finances in some way. I do feel like in the near future, there is some, maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn, but for some of you, this is some sort of toxic behavior, a feeling of being stuck, all right? I feel like um, you may not be vibrating at your highest level vibration for some of you in the near future. For others, there could be a reality check, okay? Okay. Um, I feel like there is something that may feel very unstable for you and you could be recognizing sort of toxic behaviors. Now, for some, this could even be that there might be some truth revealed about a third party situation or an unstable situation. We will see because we're about to get into your reading and clarify to know what exactly these energies are talking about. The first thing I want to clarify is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse for Pisces. Why is this here? As the challenge for Pisces in December. All right. And you have the Strength card at the bottom of the deck, Leo Energy. You have the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow. For a lot of you, I think you're doing a lot of overthinking about a situation, how to maneuver in a situation. I feel like you have a decision to make, okay? There's something about 
you not taking action, but it, I also see where there is somebody that maybe you don't even, you don't trust. Could be a Leo. I do feel like there's a lot of ego involved in this situation. All right. I feel like somebody is trying to control or manipulate a situation. Um, and I see where there's this need to let go of something, to release it, let it go. It's too much of a burden so that you can have a new beginning. For some of you, um, you may be having financial difficulty. I also feel like there's an opportunity coming towards you if that's your situation, if you are having financial difficulty, all right? I'm just throwing that out there. So let's talk about this, um, the magician in reverse in the recent past. I want to know why the magician is reversed in the recent past. The magician reverse is clarified by the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. The fool in reverse the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Cups. So you have the Knight of Cups twice in the recent past, okay? What I'm getting from this is that there is a situation that you guys were dealing with in the recent past that was very unstable or created a lot of instability for you. I feel like um, is something that you're, you've been holding on to that's been holding you back. Okay. Maybe someone that you've been holding on to that's been holding you back or some, some kind of trauma. I do feel like there is, um, there's something here in the recent past about things like not coming together, you know, not feeling happy, not being satisfied. All right. Let's see why the Knight of cups is here. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Pisces? What's this offer coming in? And you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. You have the Six of Cups reversed, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay. So in the recent past, I do feel like there was something here that maybe you gave up on. I feel like you actually um, were putting in a lot of effort, all right? But something came towards you. I feel like as you were in the process of wanting to give up, something came towards you. Maybe something that you were losing hope on, all right? Or losing hope about. Um, but it was as if things, I, I feel like things were just very unhappy for you. Um, Something didn't feel like it was growing. Let's see why this Ace of Swords is here. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess, the Eight of Cups, and the Temperance in reverse. Okay. Something was out of balance for sure. I feel like something happened very quickly. And it may have caused you, maybe there was some truth that was revealed to you that caused you to have to walk away from something unexpectedly or caused somebody to maybe walk away from you unexpectedly. Maybe some news that was delivered to you um, in the recent past that could have been very disappointing. You had to like make some very quick decisions about this and it created a lot of instability, maybe even insecurity within you. It may have caused you to feel like you lost some sort of support or some kind of abundance, okay? Now, in the present moment, you've got this King of Pentacles reversed. I want to see what this is. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reversed. In the present moment, you have the King of Pentacles reversed, clarified by the Three of Pentacles in reverse, 
the King of Swords reverse, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So in the present moment, I feel like there is some sort of huge disappointment um, that you guys are getting over or needing to get through, maybe with an earth sign or something that created a lot of instability for you, maybe a, a financial situation, what have you. I do feel like there is something about you acting without thinking, okay, with the um, king of swords here. Maybe you didn't think something all the way through. You acted and like, there could even be for some of you, somebody that you're not having, you're not speaking to. I feel like you're at odds maybe with someone or something just feeling as though it's not coming together for you. A lot of you could be struggling um, with some sort of depression or introspective situation. Like you need to, there's a need to go within. I feel like you're not seeing something clearly with the hermit in reverse. All right. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is reversed here for Pisces. And you have Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra Energy. You have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Ten of Swords. A lot of you have gone through a very difficult situation, an ending of some kind. I feel like something is going to be set right. All right. Something is being set right here. I feel like some of you are, have, you may have given up on given up on something working out in your favor. I feel like you feel betrayed possibly, but I see something coming in that is set right. Like, um, I feel like the universe is protecting you in some way. Clarify this 10 of swords, please for Pisces in the present moment, the two of cups. And the tower. A lot of you, you're going through a very difficult ending. An ending of a partnership suddenly, like a sudden ending of some kind. I feel like you're not speaking to someone or you're just not seeing something clear. You've got the Ace of Swords reversed and the Hermit reversed. Like you're not seeing things for what it truly is. And that would make sense. You know, um, Ven Venus, uh, Neptune has been in retrograde. Uh, Neptune is your ruling planet. Okay. It's been retrograde in your sign. All right. Um, and Neptune going direct, Neptune energy can sometimes not see things clearly, whether it's retrograde or direct, you know? Um, so I feel like with the Neptunian energy, even though it's comfortable in your sign, I feel like it definitely has you kind of um, really overthinking, maybe doing things without necessarily thinking them through. Um be, I, I just caution you with that energy. All right, let's see why the Two of Cups is reversed in the present moment for Pisces. So you've got the Two of Cups upright and Two of Cups in reverse. So bottom of the deck, the Knight of Swords. I see some drama or like some instability here. The Knight of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, yeah. Some of you are letting go of a relationship that was significant for you because of drama. Maybe this person is doing this with you. There's something about someone being wishy-washy, like inconsistent. Um, I feel like you're, there's just, there's something that you don't know or you don't have all the answers to. 
Like you don't have all the information. Let's see why the devil is here for you in the near future. Tell me about the devil. You have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The lovers, the tower, and the four of wands. For a lot of you, I see a big decision coming in out of nowhere, right? And it's a decision that you may have to make regarding a love offer or regarding someone that you really love. I do feel like there is some sort of toxicity here. Maybe even some of you having to make a choice um, to really do what's best for you. I feel like there might be some commitments here that you have to make or you need to make a commitment to yourself. Some of you, there might even be some sort of drug abuse um, or addiction. Could be sex addiction, drug addiction, love addiction. <laughs> like, I mean, it, addictions can be of any kind. Um, or just like a addiction to toxicity when it comes to relationships, that kind of thing could be an issue for some of you. That's not going to resonate for everyone, but it's here. So I had to let you know. Tell me why the moon is reversed. Wow. You have the Empress, Taurus energy. You also have the Page of Swords, the Hermit reversed, and the Moon. I do feel like there is some truth being revealed. Something that is hidden um, is coming to light here, okay? I feel like a lot of you, there is something going on that is coming, coming, coming out um, or some truth revealed to you, maybe an aha moment that may be about a partnership for some or may cause you to feel sad, to go through some sort of depression even. Tell me why this Queen of Pentacles is reversed. You have the Queen of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Wands reverse the world and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you, um, if you've been struggling with anything financially unstable, that is coming, that cycle is coming to an end. You have like really good finances, money coming towards you, okay? Stability. But for a lot of you, this is a relationship that's coming to an end and a close. And I feel like you're going to be much more comfortable or you are more comfortable being by yourself, focusing on you. Because I do see somebody's guard up when it comes to this because of instability. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords in reverse and the Page of Wands. There's somebody you're not talking to. Someone is very bitter. But I feel like It's there's something here about a miscommunication for some of you that I'm getting. Let's go ahead and see what else you need to know. What else is coming up? What else does Pisces need to know for December 2021? Okay, somebody's got their eye on you or they're watching you. Maybe you're doing this with someone. I feel like there might be something here that like you're watching out for. I feel like for some of you, you're almost in this place of like fear of some sort of danger. A lot of you are in the process of running away or running from something, okay? I feel like it has to do with finances, money, or stability. Some of you are... Mm. 
You definitely have a choice to make, a decision here. I feel like, look at this. You have the card of transparency in reverse, okay? So there is something here that maybe you're not seeing clearly um, when it comes to a decision, all right? I do see you this need to sort of go within to find some sort of freedom, okay? There's a need to go within yourself to find balance, to free yourself of something that's really got like some sort of toxic feeling, emotion. Yeah, I see outside forces at work here, okay? Um, somebody could even be facilitating you manipulating a situation or you being manipulated. I don't know. I do see something growing that's causing you guys to feel stuck, all right? Or there's a situation like that you have to be patient with and it's causing you to feel stuck. Let me get one more. Yeah, there is something here you need to speak up about or you need to have a conversation about. And I feel like it has to do with your finances or money or your stability in some way where there needs to be um, something spoken, something said, all right? Let's go ahead and get your advice. I will get into more detail about this and your career and money, your love life for singles and couples in the extended, all right? That link will be below if you wanna follow me over there. Keep an open mind. So spirit is trying to tell you, Pisces, don't close yourself off to any ideas. Don't box yourself in, all right? Because clearly there's something you're not seeing all the details of, right? You're not seeing it clearly. So don't shut something out if you're not seeing it clearly. You're going to need to really listen to your heart. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. What you know inherently, okay? you will have success and victory over whatever it is that you're dealing with, all right? There is something here where either you need to ask for forgiveness or um, you need to forgive someone or something and you need to let that go, all right? Maybe somebody needs to ask for your forgiveness. Spirit is telling you, be more concerned with your character than your reputation. Be more concerned with who you really are than who people think you are, all right? I see somebody's actions and their words not in alignment. I feel like there's some trust issues that you are having with someone, or this is your own actions and your words not being in alignment, okay? Uh, where you're not vibrating at your highest vibrational self. And I saw that twice in, you know, in this reading. So maybe you need to center yourself ground yourself, get back to you, go deep within yourself to um, facilitate some kind of change. Okay. That is what I have for you, Pisces. And I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.